Step back in time for a moment to a world colored in monochrome, where laughter rang out in cozy living rooms, and television sets were an awe-inspiring window into a world of imagination. Ah, oh, the year was 1951, and a charming TV series named I Love Lucy burst onto the scene, capturing hearts and sparking endless conversations around the water cooler. Remember the feeling of stumbling upon this gem for the first time. The way the characters leapt off the screen, making you an honorary member of their hilarious escapades. Perhaps it was Lucy's boundless enthusiasm and knack for landing herself in the most uproarious predicaments. Or maybe it was Ricky's exasperated yet affectionate expressions as he tried to keep up with his mischievous wife. And who could forget the uproarious Ethel and Fred, the perfect comedic foils to Lucy and Ricky's escapades. It was a world where misunderstandings spiraled into laugh-out-loud calamities, and Lucy's penchant for getting herself into one outrageous situation after another left you in stitches. The show's black and white charm might have been a portal to the past, but its humor was timeless. From the iconic chocolate factory conveyor belt scene to Lucy's unforgettable grape-stomping misadventure, each episode wove a tapestry of laughter that still resonates with us today. Those moments etched themselves into our memories, leaving an indelible mark on our collective pop culture consciousness. Now, let's draw back the curtains and delve into some lesser known facts about this beloved series. Did you know that Lucille Ball's real life pregnancy was artfully woven into the show's storyline, setting a groundbreaking precedent for TV? And those uproarious laughs. They were often fueled by the cast's genuine camaraderie and improvisational genius. So, as we journey into the labyrinth of intriguing tidbits that made I Love Lucy the timeless classic it remains today, remember the joy of that first encounter, the laughter that echoed through the years. Now, without further ado, let's unravel the hidden gems that make this show a treasure trove of entertainment history. And as we navigate these tales of yesteryears, always remember, it's more than just a show, it's a timeless connection to the joy of shared laughter and the magic of television's golden age. I Love Lucy, a 1951 TV series, was a pioneering comedy that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Created by Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz, the show revolved around Lucy Ricardo's comedic misadventures, played by Lucille Ball, and her husband Ricky Ricardo, portrayed by Daisy Arnaz. The show's innovative use of a live studio audience and three-camera setup set it apart from contemporaries. The couple's antics, often fueled by Lucy's eccentric ideas, brought endless laughter and relatability to viewers. The show's origins stemmed from Lucille Ball's desire to work alongside her husband, and the real-life couple's chemistry translated seamlessly onto the screen. Their interactions created iconic moments, like Lucy's attempts to break into showbiz or Ricky's exasperation with her schemes. The supporting characters, Ethel and Fred Mertz, played by Vivian Vance and William Frawley, added depth to the show's humor. I Love Lucy introduced several innovations, including the use of multiple cameras to capture scenes in front of a live audience. The show's ability to blend physical comedy, slapstick, and heartfelt moments made it a groundbreaking masterpiece. It tackled relatable themes, showcasing Lucy's determination to bridge the gap between her dreams and reality, often with hilarious consequences. The impact of I Love Lucy on popular culture remains profound. The show was a trailblazer, shaping the sitcom format that would influence generations of TV shows to come. Its themes of friendship, love, and ambition resonated with audiences and contributed to its enduring popularity. Lucy in Ricky's apartment, the iconic grape-stomping scene, and Lucy's various disguises are etched into the collective memory of viewers. Random facts about the show, Lucille Ball's real-life pregnancy was written into the show, a rarity at the time. The Vide Madev Gammon commercial scene is one of the most famous comedic moments. The show was a pioneer in reruns, gaining new generations of fans. I Love Lucy was the first scripted TV show to be shot on 35mm film. I Love Lucy remains a timeless classic that continues to bring laughter and joy to audiences worldwide. Its impact on television and comedy everlastingly etched Lucy, into history. I Love Lucy, his timeless classics, heartfelt evolution, I Love Lucy, the iconic 1951 television series that brought laughter and joy into American households, remains a cherished gem in the annals of entertainment history. 
While it earned a lasting spot in the hearts of millions, its journey to becoming a beloved classic was marked by intriguing transformations that continue to captivate fans to this day. The opening credits of I Love Lucy have become etched in memory, with a familiar Valentine heart symbol serving as a beacon of love and laughter. However, this emblematic heart wasn't part of the series' original opening credits. When the show originally aired on CBS, animated clay figures of the legendary Lucille Ball and Daisy Arnaz shared the screen with the sponsor's product, Philip Morris Cigarettes, to be precise. The Valentine Heart, now an iconic emblem, wasn't introduced until CBS began rerunning the series in 1958, gracing both opening and closing credits. Beyond its visual evolution, I Love Lucy has also earned a prestigious place in the television pantheon. Garnering accolades from critics and viewers alike, the show's timeless humor and captivating performances earned it a well-deserved spot in TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time. In this esteemed list, I Love Lucy claimed the honorable second place, with only NBC's legendary program Seinfeld reigning supreme as the top pick for the 1950s decade. As audiences delighted in the escapades of Lucy Ricardo and her lovable crew, one particular episode stands out for its comedic genius. In Little Ricky Gets a Dog, an amusing moment unfolds as both Ricky and Lucy attempt to stealthily leave the house without each other's knowledge. During a scene where Lucy dons her jacket, a keen-eared audience member's voice emerges from the laughter, whispering, she beat him to it. This unexpected interjection adds an extra layer of hilarity to an already uproarious episode. I Love Lucy isn't just a show, it's a testament to the enduring power of humor and the magic of television. From its heartwarming evolution and opening credits to its standing among the greatest TV shows, this 1951 masterpiece continues to enchant generations, proving that laughter truly knows no bounds. Unveiling the on-screen illusion behind the scenes of I Love Lucy beneath the charming veneer of the beloved 1951 TV series I Love Lucy lay a tumultuous dynamic between its stars. Contrary to the heartwarming displays of affection they portrayed on screen, William Frawley and Vivian Vance harbored a deep-seated mutual disdain off-camera. Their on-set chemistry was a masterful act, concealing the tension that simmered behind the scenes. The very glue that bound the show's six successful seasons together was an unorthodox catalyst, a cash bonus agreement inked by both stars upon signing an additional CBS contract. This financial incentive propelled the show's enduring run, overshadowing the palpable animosity that remained hidden, nestled in the show's comedic shadows. I Love Lucy marked a pioneering shift in television production during the 1950s. As the first major TV series to abandon the live broadcast format predominant in New York and embrace the burgeoning Hollywood scene, it revolutionized the way shows were made. Employing three film cameras concurrently, it introduced a novel approach to capturing live studio audience reactions. The result was a trove of high-quality prints capturing the quintessential essence of classic comedy, a gift for posterity's TV enthusiasts. Decades later, in 1990, an unexpected discovery breathed new life into the show's history. A 16mm print of the original pilot episode was unearthed, a relic from the show's inception. Yet, time had taken its toll, rendering the opening titles and initial moments of narration irreparable. A feat of dedication and technological prowess ensued in 2002, as the scene was meticulously reconstructed for DVD release. The voice of Bob Lemond, who had originally narrated the scene 51 years prior, was re-recorded, a subtle testament to the enduring allure of I Love Lucy. In the annals of television history, I Love Lucy stands as more than just a sitcom. It's a testament to the art of illusion, where the tension between actors propelled a show's success, where Hollywood's embrace changed production paradigms, and where the past and present converged in a painstaking reconstruction effort. Delving beyond the laughs, we unveil the intricate threads that wove this show into the Fred fabric and of Ethel's American full culture. names revealed, unveiling the depths of I Love Lucy's characters in the vibrant world of the 1951 TV series I Love Lucy, where comedic brilliance meets endearing characters, an intriguing detail about two beloved figures emerges. Fred and Ethel, the inseparable neighbors and friends of Lucy, and Ricky Ricardo are much more than just sidekicks. Imbued with full-fledged personas, they possess names far more elaborate than commonly known. Frederick Hobart Mertz and Ethel Louise Roberta Me Potter Mertz are the designations that breathe life into these characters beyond the realm of the show. 
Frederick Hobart Mertz, lovingly known as Fred, embodies the quintessential best friend. And Landlord, his witty comebacks and enduring patience with Lucy's antics provide a consistent source of laughter for audiences. Alongside him stands Ethel Louise Roberta Me Potter Mertz, a spirited counterpart who lends her quick wit and warm heart to the show's tapestry. These revelations peel back the layers of complexity woven into I Love Lucy. Behind the zany escapades and uproarious laughter, the characters come into sharper focus, becoming not just caricatures, but individuals with depth and dimension. Fred and Ethel's full names not only deepen our understanding of their identities, but also offer a new lens through which to appreciate the enduring charm of this timeless classic. As we bid adieu, a trail of nostalgia lingers in the air, weaving together the laughter, the quirks, and the heartwarming moments that the 1951 TV series I Love Lucy has gifted us. As the curtains draw on our journey through Lucy's mischievous escapades and Ricky's charismatic charm, we're left with more than just black and white images on a screen. This show, a timeless treasure, has seeped into our hearts, reminding us of the beauty of friendship, love, and the joy of simply being human. As we close this chapter, I invite you to take a moment. Reflect on those late nights spent glued to the screen, the laughter that echoed through your living room, and the comfort that Lucy and her gang brought into your world. Perhaps it's the impeccable comic timing that resonates, or maybe it's the endearing characters that have become your companions through the years. Share with us your favorite memories, your deepest connections, and your thoughts on how I love Lucy has woven itself into the tapestry of your life. So, let's keep the legacy alive. Your stories are the threads that continue to weave the magic of this classic show into the fabric of pop culture history. Thank you for joining us on this delightful journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. With warmth and admiration, 